In this video, we will talk about one of my favorite topics when it comes to chatbots, language recognition. On the marketing side, the big hype around chatbots came when Facebook released the chatbots within Facebook Messenger. Over time, however, there have been several problems caused, in my opinion, by the abuse of the tool. It was nice to grab and get users' attention, but I think chatbots didn't offer a service at the same level of the attention required. Why? Because many of the chatbots still published and online are not intelligent. They do not understand what the user does as soon as he leaves the point and click logic with which the chatbots were designed. However, there are many services that solve this problem. So we can create chatbots able to recognize and manage conversation in order to provide the best answer. We are talking about NLP, Natural Language Processing, a branch of the artificial intelligence which allows our chatbots to recognize the various elements of a conversation and its intention. The elements of a conversation are called entities, while its goal is called intent. For example, when you order food, you may write something like I want a large pizza margarita with a small beer. We could translate it into a new order intent that contains the pizza margarita and beverage beer entities. In this sentence, we could have other entities, such as the size of the pizza, a large, medium or small one, and uh, an extra ingredient like ham, in addition to the size of the beer, small. Finally, we have to consider the context, because it's very important. I can write something like uh, yes, thank you as a reply to the chatbot, but without having the context in which I write this, the same expression can have completely different meanings. If we ask a user, do you want to create a new order, the answer, yes, thanks, will trigger some results. But if the question were, do you want to receive our newsletter, the same answer, yes, thanks, will lead to completely different logics. There are several NLP platforms such as Google Dialogflow or IBM Watson. Both can be integrated into Xenio, but how? You can implement NLP logics and processes within these external platforms, I mean Dialogflow and Watson, and use Xenio as an interface that engages them to check if users' expressions are recognized. Here is an example of using Dialogflow's native integration. The first action asks us, how can I help you? Then we use a new action called Dialogflow input, which parses the user's text through the Dialogflow AI engine. Here on the right, you can see the settings of this action. We must authenticate, connect to a Dialogflow project, set the language of the chatbot, the detection confidence, which is the minimum confidence required to trigger this action. Below, I have added an if to check what Dialogflow replies. If it doesn't find any intent matching the user's expression, Xenio will reply with the message I haven't found any intent for this expression. Otherwise, Xenio will say the intent detected by Dialogflow is blah 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 and we will print out the name of the intent itself. This result is possible because we receive inside this variable df underscore detected underscore intent, which intent has been recognized by Dialogflow. Now let's save and go testing our flow. How can I help you? Mm, what is your address? You can find us in the Aravena blah 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 blah. The intent detected by Dialogflow is Indirizzi Centri, which is office location. This is because in our Dialogflow agent there's an intent called Indirizzi Centri, 
which responds with that text when the user asks for the address. As you can see, we received two responses, two bubbles. The first one from Dialogflow, which responds the address of the office. And the other one from Xenio, which communicates the intent detected. Wow. But what if you don't want to study and use other platforms to have a smart chatbot? Good news. Xenio has its own language recognition engine, so you don't have to leave Xenio and do weird integrations. Let's finally discover a new tab together, AI. If you click here, you will go to the Xenio section where you can create your intents, entities, as well as test and train the intelligence of your chatbot to make it even smarter. If we want to work with intents, we can create them and set a lot of properties, such as name, key, description, and language. The same goes for the context, topics, which help you to optimize the recognition, and conversation, where you can define how to activate the intent. In this case, I used immediately reply, setting a text response that will be sent as soon as the intent is detected. Here I have included the variable that will hold the detected intent name, a bit like we did before with a dialog flow, you know? Now we save and go back to our test environment. I'll try to ask where are you located? And you will see that I get the same address as before, but this time the message is not sent by Dialogflow, but by Xenio, who thanks to his intelligence understands my intent and responds accordingly. If we look inside the execution diagram, we find my question and we discover that it was recognized with 100% with of confidence. Very good. You can improve it by adding more expressions. To test your model, just type an expression in the evaluation text box and see what Xenio AI is parsing as a result. Here you can find the list of, of the intents and entities that have been recognized in the submitted expression. Recap time. We can create smart chatbots able to understand and respond in the best possible way. We can do this using external platforms like Google Dialogflow or IBM Watson or through the Xenio engine, where we can create our intents, entities, context and everything we need. Anyway, nobody's perfect, so you still need to manage some interactions directly. That's why in the next video we'll see how you and your team can handle conversations.